Hello and assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen welcome to another episode of the dental talk today we have a very special guest my senior one a very good friend a senior a teacher and pata nahi kya kya hai baji everything but uh, dr nida ayub khan a chota sa introduction firstly she is a bds graduate of institute of dentistry cms lahore medical college same as mine when i came into first year dr nida was in house job uh, she is co founder of the instant review series for bds she has published books on operative dentistry and dental pharmacology she is currently an fcps part 2 resident in periodontology a lecturer and teacher of perio she has done c uh, c perio and implantology and she is also a social media lifestyle influencer and she talks a lot about perio now as well spreading awareness about <laughs> you assalamu alaikum dr nida how are you assalamu alaikum gm i'm good how are you alhamdulillah finally we get to do this interview we've been Fine. trying for so, we've been trying for so long but uh, finally we get to do this interview aur aap kaisi hain everything good how are you alhamdulillah With your permission should we start the interview yep okay perfect all right dr nida firstly Tell us briefly, very briefly, how you got into dentistry. BDS में कैसे आ गई? I know your uh, father is an MBBS doctor, but how did you get into dentistry? Dentistry में कैसे आप आ गई? I was thinking about this just today, and it's a very funny story actually. अच्छा. होता है ना when you're in class two and आपसे पूछा जाता है बड़े हो कि आपने क्या बनना है? तो I always had a ready-made answer. I want to be a dentist when I grow up. I think somewhere along the lines, my mom. मतलब छोटी सी एज में शी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इनटू माय माइंड कि तुमने बड़े के डेंटिस्ट बनना है एंड आई टुक इट अप आई वाज लाइक मैंने द डेंटिस्ट ही बनना है तो आई हैव अ फनी स्टोरी रिलेटिंग टू दैट एज़ वेल आई रिमेंबर देयर वाज अ साइंस लेसन इन ग्रेड 3 एंड वी वर सपोज्ड टू लर्न अबाउट टीथ एंड आई वाज रियली एक्साइटेड कि अच्छा आई विल बी फाइनली लर्निंग अबाउट व्हाट आई एम सपोज्ड टू बी वाओ मैन बट अनफॉर्चूनेटली दैट लेसन मिस एन एब्सेंट ऑफ गोइंग एंड आई वाज सो सो disappointed i was like main to kabhi zindagi mein chhinne test bani nahi sakti because mujhe teeth ki basics hi nahi pata oh my god acha i did not know about the story wow phir <laughs> aap you went into uh, o levels a levels no you did fsc no no you did fsc sorry i did my o levels and then i opted for fsc oh my and god it- same the worst decision of my life doing fsc after o levels think please now it's not really the worst decision Yeah, true. But still, <laughs> I've uh, it was so difficult doing FSC. It was so so hard. Yeah. Uh, so I think the, in terms of equivalence, but back in those days, if you had to go into a government dental college, you needed to FSC, and it was so tough. It was crazy. It was crazy. Absolutely. Then after FSC. Yeah. After FSC, uh, I opted for Army Medical College. Uh, my father. I went to Fami Medical College himself, so I aim for that to continue the legacy. Okay. So another anecdote there that um, I always, I my focus was razor sharp. I knew I wanted to get into med- Army Medical College. I did not apply elsewhere at all. Okay. I just took the MCAT. Back in that day, FMH, CMH had separate entrance tests. I did not apply anywhere. <laughs> I just took the MCAT and I took NUSCA test because AMC was yeah. in NUSCA those days. and i got into amc i think i had the 136th merit position out of 15000 people wow so i got it to mbbs as well but i was like nahi ab bds hi karna hai bhai all right and- <laughs> i ate for one and a half year waha somehow because i could not adjust to the hostel life uh, i got sick and academically because i was sick i could not perform as well academically and it was a downward spiral so i thought it was time to go back home so my parents got me back home i shifted i migrated to uh, cmh and funny story again you know there are only two people so far who have migrated out of the the first one is mariam nawaz <laughs> the second one is me <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's insane all right i did not know about that chale But ये चलता है, very nice. All right, so we now know you've done CMS, you've done C, you've done yes. your BDS. आपका dental school खत्म हो गया. No, first let's talk about your dental school journey. What were? Sure. I won't ask you what were the ups and downs, but I will ask you कि what did those ups and downs teach you? ठीक है. And firstly, पहला सवाल ये कि how what do what did those ups and downs during undergrad teach you? And then tell us about the story of how you passed FCPS Part One. 
Okay, so dental school for me, uh, the first one and a half years at AMC, they were a bit depressing because I could not perform to my full academic potential and that was really hard for me personally and I struggled a lot with the mental health right. as well. Right. Once I migrated to image, I had a fresh start. Uh, I immersed myself completely in books and that's what I recommend to everybody that apni basics are No matter what, you need to make solid basic foundation which, which you can rely on later on as well. Absolutely. Because these concepts last your lifetime. Absolutely. Yeah. Pass it first, cut it, we pass it. But make sure you you do the grunt. Sorry, you do the grunt work. You study from the big books and memorize that stuff. Because up okay. later on, jo, uh, do I have to talk in English or Urdu? No, you can. Because these concepts, you need to have a grip on them. Because later, whichever exams you decide to take, whether licensure abroad or whether uh, specialization exams, all of them test these concepts. So you do not want to go back to these books and say, okay, I didn't learn it before, I didn't learn it again. So you just need to, with the, if you're in your hand, that would be better. So yeah. just, you know, do the right. And uh, up to things are much easier as well. I you can get rewarded for what you do. Back in my day, uh, distinctions were at 95 and above. Yeah, I and heard. It is, so, it is so sad. All of the juniors, they have at least one distinction. And I think that marks take me maybe at least three times of money. According to it, of like in Yeah. No, 95% is too much. What the bots are there? Like, why is that? that even... The only subject is my score class of the was behavioral sciences. I was going to go to the other one. Yeah, oral medicine. I was going oral medicine. You can't. You can't. Yeah, absolutely. Achha, then you, you're done with BDS. How, then you. What made you decide for FCPS and uh, then what process was the FCPS pass? Karne ka? When I was in my undergrad, because I had exposure to medical and dental community thanks to my dad. So my dad basically counseled me that, uh, do you know that FCPS is actually a diploma? Yeah. And my father, uh, he did his MCPS in health professional education. So I accompanied him to his uh, convocation and I saw rows and rows of graduates of MCPS and FCPS who'd spend their entire life studying only to do a diploma. So I, will, I used to say, I didn't FCPS, I went abroad, I wanted to licensure abroad. I actually worked for a while towards the German licensure as well. Uh, I know A1 level German, but uh, things, plans didn't work out. So Pakistan, mein rahe ke, the best option you could do is FCPS. So, pehle mein FCPS ka bada mazaak And uh, I had seniors who used to say, Kacha, tum to FCPS ka bada mazaak uraya. Thi ki diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, I landed up doing FCPS myself. And FCPS exam itself passed karna. Oh my oh, God. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, what is that exam? Uski padhai is... Matlab, I do not get how... <laughs> Of, surprisingly, the Padhai isn't that tough itself, but I had a bad stroke of luck. I don't know. I was a very good, uh, ke academ academically, I was very sound and I had good concepts. And I was always that person who would go out of the way to study extra books. Yeah. I wow. It was stuck. It was stuck. It was like, was First yeah. attempt, nahin. second attempt, hua. third attempt, hua. I, don't I was know. like, I don't know up how you kept going. I don't know how you, if I had failed FCPS three times, I would be like, I can't do this. Like, I just cannot I, do this. It was like, I had classmates, I had juniors who were passing, but uh, I say to everybody that FCPS part one is not a test of your knowledge. It's a test of your persistence. Because you have to be stubborn enough, you have to be ziddi enough to take it again and again till you. That is very true. You have to be very ziddi to pass it. Because, because I get friends with me from other colleges who cleared in their third and fourth attempts as well. It's just it's it's just just luck based. Because at the end of the day, you do not know what is the key of the answers. Yeah, I was jo apko tukka lagya us time pe wo lagya. So uh, yeah, FCPS I cleared in my fourth attempt, yeah. and I. It was all a grand scheme of plans by Allah because um, had I cleared it earlier, I probably would have gone into a different speciality. Jhabi training mil rahi thi, except yeah. ortho. So I hate ortho, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, I was, uh, but then just had to timeline when I cleared it, it was eventually I landed up in Perio. 
you know we are like extort that is the next <laughs> question that is literally the next question i know perio wasn't your preferred speciality your preferred speciality was something else but you ended up in perio why and how perio it's a very interesting story i hate perio i hated perio yeah. perio was my least favorite subject in undergrad yeah. maine literally kids padhne ki koshish ki thi maine band kar di maine shanti priya ko di shanti priya ki maine selective teaser padhi thi and wow. on the other i was, I was better than you i did get enza for my third year perio of course you had to do that <laughs> <laughs> टीचर मतलब मैं किसी के हाथ में शांति पिया देख लू मैं आई गो लाइक बिलिस्टिक योर स्टूडेंट नाउ भी लाइक कि आपने खुद शांति प्रिया पढ़ी थी वाई सबको बताती हूँ Everybody that don't be like me. I I got like fifty six marks out of hundred. That's not what you're aiming for. You need to get good marks. You need to make good concept. So um. because basically what happened third year is insane. You have a lot of subjects. I focus my energies towards medicine and surgery because uh. जी specialist himself so i accompanied him to a few surgeries and i knew that this is what i wanted to wanted to do this is my calling yeah so um but my passion for omfs was even known in undergrad everybody knew ki has to the body ke surgeon hi banna hai yeah so yeah <laughs> exactly that student matlab i remember i would volunteer to present cases which i had observed in the ot with my dad oh, in man. college so who goes that extra Like many doctors, straight to Jake Kaur sir said, "I'm a case present. Can you?" And he was like, "Okay, can you?" Sure, do that. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was that kid. But what happened was that, huh? I I had originally intended to apply to FMH ka surgery program, mm-hmm. and I took the test. I cleared the test, and I was in the top five who were called in for the interview. uh unfortunately i they had uh, they had two seats one for a male one for a female they did not want to keep two females okay so as much as i loved surgery but that's one of my uh basic shortcomings in undergrad which i am very glad ki aaj tak ki students have more awareness is that many research that i did not i hadn't done extra credentials to boost my cv okay so that where i lagged and i could not make the cut matlab i was in the top Three, but they only had two seats. So I was like, "Chalo, yar, ab ye to avenue close ho gaya." Okay. But then, uh, CMH. I was not working at CMH at that point. I did a uh, demo ship at Avicenna Dental College for a while. Yeah. So, uh, वहाँ पे जो है, sorry, let me take a break. Yeah. I was doing demo ship at Avicenna for a while. So I was not a part of uh, CMH faculty at that point. Yeah. So what happened was. Uh, Once I cleared my FCKS exam and uh, trainings were announced uh, for outsiders, I was an outsider apparently because I was not working at CMH at that point. Uh-huh. They up uh, vacancies only in Perio. Yeah. So I was like, "Chalo, let's see. I mean, let's see. Perio, let's see." But then I thought about it and I was like, "Okay, uh, Perio is good because it's a field that's not as saturated as yet. There's less uh-huh. awareness, so it would be a challenge uh, educating the masses, but." At the same time, it would be amazing teaching the students as well because knowledge is coming. So, for this, I have applied it and I got it. It's the closest thing to surgery. It's the closest thing to surgery. It's not surgery. Exactly. It is the, the best of both worlds. Now I look back, uh, it was the best decision for me because uh, I commend my fellow uh, females who are in OMFS that they have so much stamina to sustain their families and their kids and their everything along with their. Uh, training and doing it right it takes a huge physical and mental toll and i don't think i have that much capacity yeah. for me hum chote nazak se log hain suit kar diye working hours we, we will talk about that as well abhi aage jaake khair aur then you applied to into perio i applied into perio and uh, i literally applied on matlab i applied into perio i got the interview call from my uh, potential supervisor and i missed it 
I was sleeping at that time. My phone was not on silent. And I don't know how I just missed it. And then I started calling CMH ki, uh, HR, CPA to Dean. And I found out that the uh, applications have, they've already hired people. I found out that they've already hired people. And I was like, what happened? Because I talked to my potential supervisor, Dr. Farhan. He said, yeah, we'll consider you since you're CMH alumnus and everything. So I rushed to CMH at that time. I literally have a, had a five-minute window in which I could talk to the principal and convince him to hire me. He was about to leave in five minutes. And those five minutes, I had to put my life in my life. Sir, I won't do my college to do my college. Sir, please, I'll keep it. And they also offered me an offer. You know what? He actually offered me. No, no, no. We have to keep it. You can do it. You can do it. I was like, no. I made my mind. Now I want to go into Perio. So, yeah. That's how I ended up in Perio. Janet, that's a very interesting story. Uh, Janet, that's very nice. We'll talk more about Perio. My next question is that you have books, likhi, right? You wrote some books, whatever they were notes or MCUs. I didn't, I never got to study them because at that time they got outdated. But I'll tell you a story. I wrote some ortho notes just me, you, just me, our whole class studied those notes. They bought those notes from Salman Bhai. And then our junior batch also studied from those notes. So they were that's obviously awesome. good notes because everyone was studying from them. But I never got around to publishing them or selling them or earning from them. What was your thought process behind that? Basically, what happened was that uh, up to BDS point uh, is not as active. Or this, it's a Facebook group on. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is, sorry, it is a Facebook group called BDS Point. It's not as active anymore. Back in my day, it used to be extremely active, and. Um, being the philanthropist that I am, I used to share my notes freely because I felt that if you continue the flow of knowledge, yeah. Allah Mia blesses you in different Because I personally, because I used to share my notes. Everybody knew back in the day that I notes and basically I had a penchant for sorting stuff. What I used to do was that I used to sort past equals topic wise at the beginning of the session. So that I had an idea of what they are studying and what are they actually looking for. Oh my God, Dr. Nita, wow. I did not know that. Yes. <laughs> you did not I actually, no. you know, I used to do it for every year and I used to post those on BDS points so that you know, they could benefit everybody because oh my God. there were a few of us who would not share notes and I was like, yeah, I don't want to be like them. Yeah. I would share them with the whole of UHS. So I shared it that's how it became known that I have notes and everything. Yeah. So uh, once I was in my, once I was done with my undergrad and I was waiting for my house job to begin, uh, a senior from FMH approached me that, hey, are you interested in writing a book? I was like, sure, why not? Because uh, I had the notes, I had the past papers, I had the solved past papers. Because BDS point wali jo, uh, the admin of not, I mean, I, No, no. At that point, she was working towards the first book. So the step up not IT. When oh, I okay. started my Before step up, wow. Yes, like, you know, at least not okay, okay. uh, At least not for final year because many we focused on operating industry first because oh. that was like I early that that was one subject which I did, uh, which I studied extremely thoroughly. Yeah. In my undergrad, I never took any caffeine, no coffee, no tea, no coke. Operative industry was a subject. I coffee before the talk because wow. I had 10 I studied from at least 10. And I wanted to revise all of these and made a notes with him. So uh, a senior from FMS, Dr. Essen, he knew me via BDS point. He approached me, are you interested in writing a book? I was like, sure, I'm free. Let's do something productive. So that's how it came about it. It was an amazing experience. And uh, another interesting fact is that the first book that I wrote, I typed it out on my phone. I did not have a laptop at that point. Oh my God. Was it at my house? <laughs> no, no. I <laughs> <laughs> no, it, my second book actually when I was typing my second book it was at your house so, oh, but yeah. at that laptop thai nahi. Okay, there was a family laptop but I did not have like a personal laptop just in my oh, type wow. course you ago. typed it on your phone wow phone pe type ki thi and I had a help from a friend a dear friend just me to se end of the questions so I had a lot of time I had a lot of time the profit that I made from the book Oh, wow. That, see, that's what I was about to say. Just for our audience, this is one of the best passive income ideas. Write a book 
and write a good book and publish it and you will get the royalty of it forever and just aapko no, 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 दोबारा because i haven't written books in the last 5 years now it's been 5 years so i'm working to you should at the moment write, you should definitely write a book all right moving on to the next question um aapne perio join kar li now i think you're a pg th- year 3 training so, third year training no i'm wow. a wow i did my inm exam yeah, and i was like crazy on it congratulations wow dot neda you're getting old you're a third year pg <laughs> I <laughs> just for our audience I want to tell you, tell a very fun story. When I was in second year or third year, Dr. Nida had graduated and she came back to CMH one day and she was talking to me and apparently she asked she said ke oh my god you were in first year or tum itne and you're suddenly in third year or tum itne bade ho gaye ho. So I, I what did I answer? Maine jawab kya diya tha aage se? Aap bhi to buddhi ho gayi hai. And I cannot <laughs> imagine myself saying that because at that time we weren't this close it was such in i was like i was so sure it was like oh. i and i still have zero memory of this that i ever said this anyway we'll talk about that baad mein uh, dot nida aapne pay your don't knowledge sorry i'm saying i can tell you, i can even tell you the setting of where this happened this, this happened was outside Den- that me yeah section must while going to the cafe you yeah. were in a rush and you were like you ho gayi hai and this was exactly one week before my fcps induction it's exactly mohammed where you are now it's the same stage do you feel old yet no i actually don't but i'd be <laughs> very sad if someone said that to me i get that but i could not have said it all okay. right so don't either you joined perio uh aapne perio join kar li and now you talk a lot about perio you like perio you're enjoying perio theek hai how have uh, these 3 years been of uh, specializing in perio and mujhe bataye aur ye this is the first part of the question ye specialization in perio kaisi lag rahi hai aapko and second part ye hai ki aapko perio as a field pakistan mein ab kaisi nazar aati hai aage jate hue and going forward kya aapko lagta hai perio has been certainly a learning curve and uh, once i in i invested myself fully i dedicated myself fully to fully to the field i realized how amazing and how interesting it is it is like uh, because it is an emerging field so there is so much we talk about but so much so many simple things that we don't pay much attention to like uh, oral hygiene ke lihaz se and for the mobicus perio it touches upon surgery as well so uh, surgical procedures now at this stage they are so amazing there's so 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 much you can do in perio like yeah. recession coverage procedures gown lengthenings and it's 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 an amazing feel it's really has a funny story that when i uh, because when i i hated perio <laughs> when i joined the perio training so when i first came in it was one of i think it was my first or second week and uh, it was my outdoor and a patient presented and she had severe uh, chronic bronchitis us time pe matlab i was so out of touch with the little knowledge of perio i had in third year ki hmm. i I completely misdiagnosed that patient. I said, "Ki ha, isko progressive periodontitis hai," and I could see that house officer looking at me like, "Are you sure you're a periodontist?" <laughs> I was like, oh. "It was really embarrassing for me in that in that moment onwards. I was like, 'Nee, yar, ab padna padega, but तो कब तक बंदा deny है? मेरे आए गए हैं, तो कर ही लेते हैं मैंने.' Once I started reading, it was it was amazing. It was like all the things which didn't make sense in third year finally made sense now, and that was such a I relief. agree. Like it, I agree. <laughs> मैंने भी third year जब Karenza पढ़ी थी, none of it made sense. I just I feel like I ratified, I ratified all of Perio. But now 
when i just generally hamara kyunki surgery mein hum perio matlab aap padhte rehte ho you i follow people but, who are on but the so many things make sense i matlab i now now i know what a connective tissue graft ki power kya hoti hai us waqt maine connective tissue graft ke types sab kuch pad liya suture kaise karte hain tunnel technique sab pad liya but samajh aa bhai ye ki acha iska ye bhi is tarah ho mujhe to mohammad nahi aate the maine to bare minimum perio padhi thi मैंने सिर्फ टेबल्स करके तो जो है मैंने कहा मैं पास हो जाऊंगी ऑल राइट सो वे यू टू वेयर यू गोइंग नाउ लाइक इन एज अ फील्ड इन पाकिस्तान प्रीवियसली अप अंटिल लास्ट ईयर वी हैड थ्री इंस्टीट्यूट्स व्हिच आर ऑफरिंग पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट ट्रेनिंग इन पेरियो बट दिस ईयर दिस जून देयर आर थ्री मोर इंस्टीट्यूट्स वन इन कराची वन इन इस्लामाबाद एंड वन इन लाहौर व्हिच आर नाउ ऑफरिंग पेरियो रेसिडेंसी दैट ब्रिंग्स अ टोटल टोटल ऑफ इट टू सिक्स So that's a like that's a nice that's a decent number. Which one is the and best one? Ji. Which one is the best one? We all know that. <laughs> all right. We let's okay. not get into that. <laughs> the one that started training FMH is amazing. But of course, Mustafa Allah he he's a legend to be reckoned with. So Absolutely. and मतलब obviously all the institutes follow their suit. मतलब they've been producing trainees since the past six years. So we put yeah. lot to learn. Lot to learn. a lot to learn from them yes absolutely i agree all right so aapne yes, uh, perio obviously it is a growing field in pakistan um and it has a very 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 bright future matlab the right. only the only obstacle we have right now is that patients perio ke specifically surgical perio ke bahut kam hai matlab uh, patients who want uh, aesthetic procedures like recession coverage patients who want uh, मतलब प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस में आई हैवेंट हैड मच एक्सपोजर टू प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिसेस येट आई हैव ओनली प्रैक्टिस इन इंस्टीट्यूशंस टिल नाउ सिंस आई हैव ग्रेजुएटेड सो इन इंस्टीट्यूशंस आई सी द पेशेंट फ्लो फॉर पेशेंट फॉर पेशेंट्स हु वांट प्रोसीजर्स डन सच एज क्राउन लेंथनिंग एस्थेटिक कवरेज थोड़ी सी कम है तो आई स्टिल फील द ह्यूज ह्यूज दिस इज ह्यूज गैप ऑन पेशेंट एजुकेशन वी नीड टू एजुकेट पेशेंट्स ऑन हाउ टू मेंटेन योर पेरिडोंटल हेल्थ एंड हाउ दिस are important and vital matlab perforations sab ki expose hi hoti hain lekin fir kis ne karwani hoti what i what i uh, think about this is that agar main apna chhota sa opinion do aesthetic dentistry has been going on in was had a boom in western part of the world after 1995 वेल एस्टेडी डेंटिस्ट्री टोक ऑफ और बहुत वहां पे बिनियर्स का कांसेप्ट आ गया आफ्टर 95 और अभी तक है सिमिलरली पेरियो जो है पेरियो एज ए स्पेशलिटी बूम्ड इन अमेरिका टेन ईयर्स लेटर आफ्टर 2005 हमेशा से स्पेशलिटी है अमेरिका में बट इट बूम्ड आफ्टर 2005 सो आई फील लाइक क्योंकि हम थोड़ा सा पीछे चल रहे थे एस्थेटिक डेंटिस्ट्री नाउ इन पाकिस्तान एवरीवन एवरीवन वांट्स एस्थेटिक डेंटल प्रोसीजर्स डन एवरीवन नोज अबाउट व्हाट बिनियर्स आर स्पेशली द द पीपल हु गो इनटू प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस जो प्राइवेट एक अच्छी प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस में जाके अपना काम करवाते हैं सो आई फील लाइक इन द कमिंग टेन इयर्स होपफुली पेरियो की भी सेम लेवल की अवेयरनेस फैल जाएगी इंशाल्लाह or professor or whatever according to the research i feel like in the future once fcps wale periodontists zyada ho jayenge they will start replacing these implant periods do you agree uh mohammad they will always the worth for foreign uh, degree and foreign uh, education but always it will always be matlab uh, you would see that uh patients ka mindset hota hai institutes ka mindset hota hai ki hame to foreign graduate ko rakhna hai so uh, we cannot really uh, replace them fcps perio uh, but uh, yes we will give them due competition maybe that's what you could say lekin uh, replacement kabhi nahi ho sakti obviously when nobody can compete with the foreign just the exposure hua wo chale theek hai perfect everybody let's move a little away from perio now theek hai bahut perio ke bare mein baatein hongi acha now mera question ye hai you're a mom you're a wife you have a blog uh you have a career and i try <laughs> you try but how are you managing everything i'm i i know it's very hard i know you're always about it ke 
ओह यार बहुत मुश्किल है इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट हाउ डू यू मैनेज योर टाइम फर्स्टली आपको क्या एक एक औरत के लिए क्या चीज उसको सपोर्ट करने के लिए उसको वो लाइक हाउ शुड अ वुमन अ फीमेल हु इज अ फ्रेश ग्रैड और और फ्रेशली मैरिड अभी रिसेंटली मैरिड उसको क्या करना चाहिए अपना अपने करियर को साथ साथ चलाने के लिए क्या उसको टाइम मैनेजमेंट क्या कैसे करना चाहिए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट यू नो आई अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आई एम वेरी प्रिविलेज दैट आई हैव हेल्प इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल विदाउट हेल्प इट इट इज नॉट बिकॉज़ स्पेशली विद अ चाइल्ड विद अ यंग चाइल्ड यू नीड ऑल द सपोर्ट इट टेक्स अ विलेज टू रेज द चाइल्ड सो यू नीड ऑल द सपोर्ट दैट यू कैन गेट अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आई हैव बीन एक्सट्रीमली ब्लेस्ड इन दैट रिगार्ड that i have uh, an extremely supportive husband who always uh, pushes me to do my best and furthermore i have an amazing mother in law and in laws who who take care of my child right. so definitely need to have a, a strong support system it's not possible without support my husband is extremely supportive he pushes me to do my best balki he's always like tum apni potential waste kar you need to do more and uh, amazing in law alhamdulillah my mother in law matlab she takes my daughter so that i can have some rest not just keep looking after her when i'm not around yeah. she gives me my due rest as well so that's amazing wow. and uh, baki other than that i think what important thing is that you have to realize that um, motherhood is not your life it's just a part of your journey uh, i don't i did not want uh, motherhood to be the only thing that defines me Yeah. Which comes down to that you need to have a drive. You need to have a drive to excel yeah. and to do yeah. your best. Uh, up to I, I'm really impressed by uh, your generation uh, these days because everybody is striving to to uh, to do their best and whatever they can. But back in my yeah, generation, you're not matlab, you're not that old. Your generation, I say, I'm a very different generation. Five years, it's a lot. Trust me, it's a lot. Matlab, you like you like gen z and not gen z you oh, still gen z we're not gen z we're millennial we are <laughs> the last of the millennials just by the way na we are the last of the millennials just putting it out there hamare baad hamare baad gen z shuru hui thi but i i felt a, a significant difference ke back in my day uh, there were so many people i had so many fellow uh, classmates who would come in and say ke hum to netish mein sirf acche rishte ke liye aaye hain and that word that was really disappointing ke yaar aap itni mehnat kar rahe hain yeah you don't hear that now that's true you don't hear that you don't hear that now exactly yeah. you everybody is in here to I've, I've, now i'm thinking about it, i've never heard anyone say that maybe exactly exactly right but i've never you heard see, that's, that's what about the change and yeah. i'm really impressed with this so uh, you need to have that drive i don't need to say it to the younger lot now but uh, my generation mein thoda sa kam tha and budhapta bhi kyunki aa hi gaya hai to je hai it's it's hard trying to you know first of all it's like mental component hota hai khud ko convince karna acha maine ye karna hai i need to have that drive and then the physical component is it it's really important to be physically healthy and sound so that you can undertake all that you want to do and that's one aspect i'm still lacking behind on my physical health is not up to the prime i still need to focus on that so yeah you need to have that drive you need to have that urge to do the best in your field and whatever you are doing in life and that's that's beautiful all right so aapne and I, my blog my blog is just like a, like a distraction i don't know somebody recently said to me ke ha your blog is one of those things ke bas pata nahi kya hai bas chal raha hai maine kaha ha mujhe bhi aise lag raha hai very successful it's going very nice uh, but Ab, we, uh, i'm trying to make mindful lekin pehle i was just posting randomly so uh, it's it was basically something like you know ke something that was refreshing for me because everything uh-huh. motherhood and kids can be exhausting Yeah. and it is it a little something for myself something to look forward to so you need to have that hobby on the side as well for all the young moms uh, who intend to pursue the career don't make it about your career and your kid just don't make it about just that have a side hobby have something side that hobby. exactly something that you something do that, for yourself exactly yeah. so yeah, you're doing the other thing for yourself as well but something Yeah. That uh, that gives you that that is like you know that doesn't take as much mental effort perhaps but yeah. gives you pleasure. All right, perfect. <laughs> Chale, let's talk yeah. about your blog from here because my next question was advice to females, but you've already done that in a very nice way. You should have drive and you should have hobbies and you should be able to manage all all that. You need support, but you need a drive as well. possible without support that's true but you know where where you have the drive i think it's possible you need to have a positive yeah. mindset you need to matlab it's matlab definitely there are obstacles there are hurdles uh, you need to focus on the positive and you need to just you know just go with it kya acha maine ye karna hai 
there will be hurdles choti choti cheezon ko forego karna and yeah. focus on the big perfect all right so ab you you're making a blog and aapka uh, yeah. blog blog mashallah se bahut acha chal raha hai i also happen to be running this dental talk so this is also kind of my blog um what is you the... doing amazing work thank you so much your blog is inspiration matlab jo aaj kal main dental education videos dal rahi hu matlab i'm shamelessly saying matlab if it's not plagiarism it's definitely inspiration <laughs> no thank you so much we'll talk about that as well acha mera question ye hai ki hame when i started this अब बहुत लोग कहते थे कि सोशल मीडिया के वाई डिड यू मेक योर प्रोफाइल पब्लिक वाई डिड यू मेक योर प्रोफाइल पब्लिक टुडे एवरी वन इज मेकिंग देयर प्रोफाइल पब्लिक देयर मेकिंग पब्लिक एवरीबॉडी फ्रॉम योर लाइक यू नो एवरीबॉडी एंड आपके पेशेंस बनने ही थ्रू सोशल मीडिया है ठीक है वो जमाना गया कि आप फ्लायर किसी के घर डालोगे वो घर से उठ के आ जाएगा आपके घर that's not how yeah. these things will work you will have to brand yourself as a dentist uh, even definitely mai to sabko ye kehta hu ki you don't even have to brand your clinic clinic aapka hai agar aapne bana liya apna clinic that's very good that's your clinic you cannot brand Patient. your clinic you have to brand yourself sorry patients are patients aapke naam ke aane chahiye jahan bhi aap jaye you are in a brand in yourself yep so that's my question ke what is the role of social media and dentistry in today in today's day uh, social media it is a pivotal it has a pivotal role in dentistry yeah. uh, not only educational aspect that uh, it helps connect dentists all across the world uh, i been a periodontist because pakistan mein thoda sa kam hai i connect with periodontists from all across the globe and i see what the stuff that they're doing yeah. the techniques that we might going so that social media is something that connects us and furthermore we but patients jo aapke aane hain you could you the message you're getting across to the common man you're delivering education as well you're educating how important is your oral hygiene and then you're uh, delivering that the procedure that the kind of procedures that you're doing and the ways in which you can help a patient all across all using oh, sorry what is bol rahi thi all while using social media so social media has is like a critical role these days definitely yeah. Yeah. and uh, social media i personally feel not that different from in real life when you meet a person uh you want to cast memorable impression yeah definitely matlab ke uh the patients you get majority of the patients come through word of mouth ke acha ye banda acha hai so i feel advertising yourself through social media is not any different because uh koi word of mouth ke bajaye uh following ke lihaz se hai ke people follow you ke no ke acha acha kaam karte hain and same the kind of impression that you might cast on a person that you meet in person you're doing this virtually we're all connected virtually whenever possible so yeah social media up to it's like uske bagair to i think patients what they do up to mindset is tarah ka aa gaya that they typically google uh, doctors if they have any social media presence or not they actually do that ki acha ye acha doctor hai yeah the education videos kaam ke mein to thodi si difference hoti hai ki acha this person knows their work knows their work it's it's absolutely all right so ye ab baat ho gayi um when you make when you make your life public aapki life with the public ho jati hai and people know you there there is a certain group of people are seniors jo zara zyada seniors hain they tend to look down upon you in a way or matlab there is i don't know i don't know look down upon you or they judge you i don't know what's the correct word but there's some kind of negative connotation over there how to so that's deal, that's the- how to deal with that uh there's some unfortunately that's one thing that's a gap of generation and mindset and yeah. you cannot do much and uh you have to respectfully agree ki acha that's an opinion that they believe but yeah. i need to do what i need to do yeah so i think in a matter of uh, in a, in like five more years they will also come around to it because yeah. the rate at which progressing um obviously putting your life out there doing things publicly scrutiny is unavoidable matlab ke there will always be a percentage of people who do not like what you do and yet they will be following you and uh, critically yeah. analyzing every step of yours so just matlab don't uh, focus your energies towards that my mantra these days is ke i am getting old i only have a limited number of brain cells left <laughs> i cannot focus them on the negatives i need to focus so on you the need a, you need a thick skin you need a th- you need to develop a thick skin because there will be criticism <laughs> definitely need to develop a thick skin and you need to be mindful 
off ke this is not when i want to spend my energy is mulling over whatever is happening i need i have better things to focus on all right chale ye baat ho gayi aapne jab se ek cheez meri pehle reh gayi thi sawal uh, we moving towards the end do teen sawal reh gaye aapke miss आपने जब से पेरियो के पेशेंट्स देखने शुरू किए होंगे आई एम श्योर यूव सीन मेनी मिसकनसेप्शन पीपल हैव रिगार्डिंग स्केलिंग रिगार्डिंग रोड प्लेनिंग और जस्ट जनरली अवेयरनेस नहीं है ठीक है वॉट आर सम ऑफ द फनी बिट्स दैट यू हर्ड कि मिसकनसेप्शन क्या है पेरियो के रिगार्डिंग पेरियोडोंटोलॉजी एक तो ये है कि दांत वीक हो जाते हैं वो तो है चलें उसके अलावा I think that is the most common uh, misconception, uh, and unfortunately, that's quite prevalent among dentists as well. कि हम अपनी repeated scaling करवाएंगे साल दो दफा तो हमारी enamel wear off हो जाएगी, dentin wear off हो जाएगी, तो दांत weak हो जाएंगे. And uh, the fact that it's coming from yes, I have like students who say that, and like नहीं ऐसे नहीं होता. तो तो yeah, that's, that's the most common misconception. इसके अलावा क्या और कब बनोगा? इसके अलावा यही है. वैसे तो और कोई नहीं. इसके अलावा और कोई नहीं. Just generally awareness नहीं है ना पेरियो की. लोगों में उनको पता ही नहीं कि पेरियो में और क्या क्या हो सकता है पेरियो की जनरली अवेयरनेस नहीं है पेरियो की अवेयरनेस सिर्फ स्केलिंग और रूट प्लेनिंग तक ही है बट आई मस्ट से मॉस्टिकल पेरोडोंटल थेरेपी इट इट वर्क्स मिरेकल्स इट वर्क्स वंडर्स मतलब आई ऑलवेज से दिस अ गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ सेशन इज दैट दे नो व्हेन नॉट टू कट सो यू नीड टू नो व्हेन नॉट या एग्जैक्टली So you need to know what things you can manage non-surgically and what for what things you need to go towards uh, surgical procedures. So non-surgical periodontal treatment you maintain your oral hygiene really nicely. You get your biannual scalings done, and uh, it, it's it's miraculous. It's yeah. miraculous what you can do with that. Perfect. So you be common. आपको सिर्फ सर्जरी होती है नहीं नॉन सर्जिकल से बहुत अच्छा काम कर सकते हैं आप लोग. That's true. अच्छा now your uh, dent your uh, PG year three training. आपका नेक्स्ट ईयर इंशाल्लाह खत्म हो जाएगी ट्रेनिंग देन आपका पार्ट को अनफॉर्चूनेटली आई हैड लाइक अ 6 मंथ कोविड गैप चल ये डेढ़ साल में खत्म हो जाएगी खत्म तो 24 में जो भी है खत्म तो हो जाएगी ना इवेंचुअली इट विल एंड सम डे राइट एंड देन यू विल पास योर पार्ट 2 इन योर फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट इंशाल्लाह एंड व्हाट व्हाट्स द फ्यूचर ऑफ डॉक्टर नेदा लाइक आप ये तो होगा नहीं कि आप अब चार साल इतनी मेहनत करके साढ़े चार साल आप घर बैठ जाए या प्राइवेट आई दर गोइंग टू प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस और यू गो फॉर अ मॉर्निंग जॉब वे डू यू सी योर सेल्फ इन टेन ईयर्स मैं आपको ऑब्वियसली मैं आपको आपके प्लान रिवील करने को नहीं कह रहा बट अच्छा यू हैवन थॉट अबाउट दैट चले अभी सोचे और बताए लाइक वट वुड यू वट वुड योर आइडियल वो भी कि दस साल में मैं कहा हूँ यार I would always. I think knowing myself, I would never dissociate myself with teaching. Okay. Think how much of a passion I have for it. I I would definitely be be doing the morning job, and I would definitely be imparting knowledge to the best Pardon of my ability, knowledge. because yeah. that's something that keeps me going. Uh, teaching is so so underrated, and it's such a matlab. It's an amazing that you can mm-hmm. influence somebody to do better. to learn better it's like it's amazing so it's a sadka jari as well so yeah. definitely the uh a banda i don't want to brag or matlab main kya kahunge because pehle ka achhi baat ye hai that's not as yet saturated so yeah. uh get progression matlab uh, it takes lesser time as compared to other specialties absolutely theek hai especially in so definitely like you know kahin kahin mein choti lagi hongi procedures cool cool kar rahi hongi जो आपको लगता है हमारे सीनियर्स ने हमारे सीनियर्स ने बहुत प्रोफेसर सब ने बहुत डेंटिस्ट्री को चेंज किया उन्होंने अपनी कैपेसिटी में जितना कर सकते थे उन्होंने किया वट इज आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नाउ आपके ख्याल में कि हमें अब नेक्स्ट जनरेशन के लिए क्या चेंज क्या डिफरेंटली करना चाहिए वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इज के फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट्स बिकॉज देर सो मेनी डिटल कॉलेज नाउ एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटलीटिसिंग एट क्वैक्स मतलब एंड बिकॉज दे आर नॉट सफिशियंटली पेड फॉर इंटर्नशिप एट देंटिस्ट Yeah. I know the economics is hard, but yeah. one of the very important things I like to highlight is that if you have an intern, please, please pay them the bare minimum so mm-hmm. that they don't fall into the job of work. So, why not? So, why not? Because I've seen that ruin careers. 
Hmm. We do not want a younger generation going down that path. Absolutely. And that's a, a our responsibility as senior clinicians that we give them incentives to stay at our pace. Exactly. And as a teacher, but the teachers have an immense role in shaping the future. Uh, graduates in the sense that uh, do your best and do your honestly do your job. But the teaching, you can also give them incentives to take. You you can impart knowledge and you can say that okay, it's my responsibility to teach you because uh, I'm going to be questioned later okay, if I did teach this person the best of my ability or not. So yeah. for the younger graduates, and the responsibility is teach them, teach them all that you know. But don't be like I want to hold back because these are my trade secrets. If I tell them everything, then what will I do? No, it's not that I'm going to be a burden. But you can teach your own burden. So you can teach them for the young people. So, do your job well and don't exploit the juniors. And Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Last question. What do you think about the startup of ours? And any advice, startup you, of like to, what, and any advice you would like to give us? Mohammed, uh, if you remember, I told you a long, long time ago that, in, inshallah, I see you going places. Inshallah. You're the one person whom I can vouch. Okay, inshallah. <laughs> So for sure that you're going to make waves not only nationally but internationally as I well, and you already know yeah. just towards that. So uh, my advice would be keep doing what you're doing with the same passion. Don't let your passion fade because uh, life takes over, and yeah. but the priorities we ask, you know, just have the same energy and passion and do what you're doing, and you'll be great, inshallah. And yeah. then, you inspired me as well, and I'm you know I'm I'm always learning from you as well. Thank you so, so much. You're doing. हमने तो आपसे बहुत उटली Uh, for taking time out, we finally got to do this interview. I hope you enjoyed because I really did, and I'm sure logo. I, I, I wouldn't have done with it with any. Sorry, I wouldn't have done it with anybody else. Like you know, the comfort Thank level with you. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you so much. Thank you, and take care. Bye bye.